Good morning. Welcome to FitScope. My name is Cherie, and I'm going to guide you in a practice called warming up the joints. This is great for before you do any Tai Chi practice or Qigong practice or just something to open up your joints and get them ready for your workout. So let's get started. So your feet are going to be a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You're going to twist your waist, just twist your waist, and your arms are going to basically go with where your waist is twisting. So just get used to this movement, and then we're going to start touch, tapping our lower dantian and our back of our in our back. And this helps to open up the spine and just help to open up and wake you up in the morning. This is called knocking on the door of life. And the door of life is directly behind on the other side of your back of the Dantian. And breathing is just breathing in and out as normal. So now we're going to go up to the chest. So when the arm that goes to the back is just going to stay in the back and the arm that's in the front is going to go up to the chest. And this is great for opening up your lungs. So if you're feeling congested, you can do this to help open up your lungs. Again, breathe normal. Now we're going to go over to the shoulders. I'm sure you see people in the parks doing this. So now we're going to go back to the Dantian. If you're feeling really tired, this is a great exercise to do. Get up and just twist. So now you're going to slow it down. You're going to breathe in and breathe out. So now we're going to do what's called spinal cord breathing. So you're going to bring in, open up your chest and breathe out. You're going to tuck in your tailbone and bend your body to the center. I'm going to come to the side, breathe in and breathe out. 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 So this is great for your shoulders. If you're on the computer all day, it really helps to release the tension in your shoulders. So you breathe in and breathe out. So now you're going to breathe in and you're going to come to your right. Breathe in. When you breathe out, you're going to come back to the center. Breathe in to the left and come back to the center. So it's just giving you a little bit more of a twist. And this helps to open up the spine, open up the waist. And you come back to the center. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out and come down. So now we're going to bring our right arm up to the sky. Our left hand is going to be down. You're stretching up with the right hand and pushing down with the left. You're just going to get a good stretch to your liver. And you come down, you breathe in, and you're going to stretch your stomach and your spleen. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out, one more time, breathe in, so you want to widen your stance, you're going to breathe in, and you're going to take your left hand, it's going to go over to the right, your right hand is going to go over to your left, you're going to look at your right hand, breathe in, and right hand is going to go to the left, left hand is going to go to the right, you're going to look at your left, this is giving you more of a spot stretching your spine. And then we're going to go to the other side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. One more 
the time. And now come to the center, breathe in, and breathe out. So now you're gonna put your hands above your knee and you're just gonna look over to the back and stretch your side. And then come back to the center and go the other way. Again to the center and to the right. And you wanna look farther back to get a good stretch. Now bring your hands down. You're going to clasp your hands. You're going to come up, stretch, and you're going to come down the center. And breathe in, come up, and stretch, and come down. You're breathing in. Come down. Breathe in and out. And come down. Breathe in. So now you're going to come to the right, go to your right, and you're going to come down to your right and just hold it for a little bit to get a stretch in your hamstrings. Come to the center and then come to the left. And get a stretch in your left hamstring. And then you're going to come up to the left. Breathe in, breathe out. You're going to come down the left to the center and then to the right. Breathe in, you come down to the right, center to the left, and come up. Again, come down. Center to the right and come up and come back to the center and breathe out. So you're going to put your hands on your back and you're going to just do some head rolls. Just light head rolls. So you're going to breathe in and breathe out on the way down. Come to the other side. And relax and bring your hands down. So we're gonna shrug our shoulders up and come down. So you're gonna shrug your shoulders up, bring your feet up and release. Again, shrug your shoulders up and release. Shrug your shoulders up and release. Now we're gonna Circle your shoulders and breathing is just breathing normal. And go the other way. So this helps to relieve any of the stress that you have in your shoulders. We all carry all our stress in our neck and our shoulders. And we're going to breathe in and breathe out. So this next one, you're going to, you're going to scoop up good energy. You're going to bring your hands around and down and your palms are going to be up. Again, scoop the energy, come down and up. Again, scoop, down, and your palms are up. You're going to put, tilt your neck to one side and just go forward and backwards. This is great to relieve stress in your neck. Come down to the center, the other side. And come down and relax. Now we're gonna do what I call the breaststroke. So you're, like you're swinging in the breaststroke, you're gonna come around and open up your chest. Again, breathe in. Come around and open up your chest. Breathe in. Open up your chest. And then again, put your head to one side and just go back and forth on one side. Come down to the center. The other way. 
other side. And come down. You're gonna breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. So now we're gonna work on our hands. This is, you're gonna intertwine your hands and you're just gonna circle your hands. This is great for carpal tunnel. If anybody has carpal tunnel, this is great exercise to release the carpal tunnel. Release the tension. So we're gonna go the other way. We don't release any tension in our hands, so this is a great exercise for that. And relax. So you're gonna bring a fist to your Dantian, and you're just gonna open up two times, and then you're gonna open up your hands and stretch. Again, open with the fists, open with the hands. Open with the fists, open with the hands. Fists, and hands. Fists. So this is, again, releasing the tension in your shoulders. And come down. Now again, you're gonna put your hands towards your Dantian and you're just gonna twist two times and then to the other side. So this is helping to open up your waist. And breathing is just breathing normal. And relax. Now you can put your hands on your hips and you're just gonna do hip rotations. This is good to relieve any stress in your hips and your back. Reverse it. And relax. So this next exercise are for your legs. I would advise getting a chair because you will be doing balancing. So hold on to the chair, and you're going to lift your leg up, and you're gonna to come to the side. Okay. Lift your leg up, and come to the side. And this is great for balancing. It's great to open up the hip flexors. And if you can't get this high, or if you feel any creaking, go lower. And if you still, your balance is not right, you can touch at the, at the end. And if you have good balance, you don't have to use the chair. Let's reverse it. In Tai Chi, you need to have great balance. And that's the one thing is, with all these leg exercises, we give you good balancing exercises. So let's move the chair to the other side. On to the other side. Come to the other side. So this next exercise is you're going to bring in your right leg and kind of swivel it up and to the left. So it's kind of kicking to the left and bringing it in. So you're bringing your insole 
inside and then you're kind of kicking it out again in out you can also just kick it this way and then bring it to the chair to the other side Again, if you don't need the chair, you don't have to. But I advise it's good to use the chair just until your balance is, is better. Okay, now bring the chair back. So we're going to take a deep breath in and breathe out. So you're going to bring your knees together. You're going to do knee rotations to the right. And to the left. And you're going to go outside in. and inside out. And come up and relax and breathe in. And breathe out. So now we're gonna take our, the sole of our foot and we're just gonna rotate in a circle our foot. Reverse the other way. This helps to release any tension in your ankles. And come back. And relax and you can shake it out. Let's go to the other side. You can't really do this with shoes, so you can do it with barefoot or if your shoes are flexible. Relax and shake it out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Put your feet together. We're gonna do centering. Left hand is gonna be underneath the dantian. You're gonna breathe in. The right hand is going to come down to the center. Right hand is going to go where the left hand was and breathe in with the left. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And put your hands on your dantian. Close your eyes. And just take a couple deep breaths. We end with Bamboo in the Wind, the standing meditation. It helps you relax and get you started for the rest of your day. You can do this as long as you need to. Have a fabulous day. Namaste.